Hey guys, Fox here. Welcome to the Launcher's Gold Camo Guide. I finally finished the Hobbit's challenges and I'm really happy with that. I'll never have to use that piece of shit again. But uh, let's get into these challenges. It's going to be a long ass video, but I don't care. The challenges for the Spartan and the Pilo are almost the same and the Hobbit's challenges are completely different. So I'll begin with the Spartan and the Pilo. Uh, first, you have to destroy 20 score streaks with both of them. Uh, now the spawn locks on, but the pilo doesn't. Uh, fortunately, the hitboxes of the UAVs and kind UAVs are way too big and it's just too easy to hit them. Just aim a little bit ahead of them and eventually you'll get a feel for it. Uh, I really recommend you play ground war because uh, there are just so much score streaks in the air, almost 24 7 score streaks, so uh, I really recommend you play ground war. After you've done that, you'll have to get 45,000 points worth of score streaks with both of them. Uh, I really recommend having the launcher in your class all the time so you can react fast. Uh, for the perks, I recommend blind eye so score streaks won't look onto you while you're trying to shoot them down. Uh, I also recommend engineer, it shows enemy score streaks on the minimap. Uh, if you just shoot down every possible score streak, uh, this is over in no time. For the Spartan, you now need to destroy uh, score streaks without locking onto them. Uh, the hitboxes are way too big for the count UAVs and UAVs, so just uh, lead your shot a little and it's very easy. But you have to do it fast because it will lock on even if you're not that centered on the UAV or counter UAV. For the pilot, you just need to get kills for this challenge and uh, this really speaks for itself. For the Spartan, you need to get kills too and this speaks for itself too. For the pilo, you need to get double kills. Uh, I recommend playing ground war, there are just uh, more people and if you just keep looking for people, uh, this really will be over in no time. For both the Spartan and the pilo, you need to destroy score streaks within a short period of time. Uh, just wait until you see uh, with the engineer perk that there are two UAVs or counter UAVs in the air and then shoot them down, uh, there's not really anything more to it. For both the Spartan and the Pilar, you need to destroy three score streaks in a single match and uh, while you were going for the score, you probably already did this a hundred times. So uh, just stick to the perk setup and uh, this is really not that hard, just keep looking on your minimap for score streaks. For both the Spartan and the Pilar, you need to destroy a score streak and kill an enemy in the same life, both with the launch of course. Uh, now I would wait until there's a score streak in the air and then go search for an enemy. It just makes it easier. Uh, the only problem you might encounter, especially for the Spartan, is the ammo count. Well, I have the solution. If you rewind with the Synaptic Specialist, you get a full ammo bag. And this helps if an enemy is using flag jacket or you just get a hit marker or something and you need another shot. Well, this was the easy part. Now we need to complete the challenges for the Howitzer. First, we need 200 kills. As easy as it sounds, uh, not that hard, just kill people. But then, we need 160 direct impact kills. Uh, this used to be extremely hard, because some of the kills just wouldn't count. Uh, but they fixed the bug, and it's now not that hard anymore. I did this in a uh, free for all just because there are enemies everywhere. Uh, be sure to also run a primary since you only have three shots, and uh, if you shot those three shots, you can just uh, play with your primary weapon. If you see AFK enemies, uh, just go stand right in front of them and be sure you direct impact them. The explosive damage of the Hoitsa is so small, uh, most skills you get are direct impact kills anyway. Uh, dedication really is the key to this challenge and you'll definitely need a few days for this. If you're done with that, you need double kills. I recommend you play ground war just because there are more people. Uh, if you just rush in, this really happens on its own. And I can't really give any more tips for this. You then need kills without primary weapon and this speaks for itself. For the Bengal, you need to destroy 15 score streaks. Uh, I think 14 of those for me were Wardens, and one was uh, a Vulture I accidentally shot. And you're not gonna destroy these with just the Hoitzer. My standard for destroying a Warden is 2.5 magazines, extended magazines, with the OSA, 
and one or two howitzer shots. Uh, it's really annoying when you are shooting at a warden and a teammate uh, just steals the warden. But I think wardens are the easiest score streaks to shoot down. So please don't play too good. Maybe uh, use the care package and just let it sit on the ground so uh, enemies can get the warden or something. Scarabs are also easy to destroy. Then you need to get long shots and I think I I raged so incredibly hard because this challenge is just so fucking annoying. Sorry I'm cursing but this challenge is just unbelievable. The explosive damage of the Howitzer uh, oh, uh, is so incredibly small uh, and the chances of you hitting like almost a cross map shot on someone and killing them uh, the chances are just so small but I did this in uh, domination just because the spawns are really predictable and you know uh, enemies are going for the B flag and something so uh, what I did I just took a long line of sight on the B flag or just uh, a long line of sight in general and when I saw an enemy uh, like in the end of that pathway or just in my line of sight I just shot all my three shots with the uh, howitzer and just hoped for the best and hoped I'll kill an enemy and that really was my tactic I really don't know how to do this uh, easier for me there were not any particular spots on the map that just uh, gave me more long shots than any other spots uh, just if you see an enemy in the end of your pathway in the end of your line of sight just shoot all three of your howitzer bullets and just hope for the best then you need to get three kill streaks and uh, this really uh, was hard for me just because the howitzer only has uh, three shots and you have to get three kills but you can use the synaptic specialist and rewind and get your three shots back this really made it easier for me be sure if there are afk enemies just go stand in front of them uh, make sure you kill them or direct impact them uh, just make sure you're not wasting your shots because you only have uh, so many. So those were all my tips for the launches. I really hope they were useful. If they were, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.